this is Women's Federation. This is the opening page of the channel, right? And up here, there's a plus sign. It says create when you click on the plus. So what you have to do is click on the plus, upload video, upload video, and then you have to select the video that you want to upload. So if you want to select your files, then you go to where the file has been saved. So we go to wherever the file is. You select the file that you want to save, that you want to upload. Okay, you can't see that on the other screen. Let me put it back again. Whoops, uh, now I can't move it because my, uh, okay, so here you click on the video that you want and just move it here into where you want to upload it. Now it's already starting to upload, but I've already, I've already uploaded this video, so I'm going to cancel. So I'm just going to close it here now because I don't want to do that. So um, I'll stop that. Oh, it's going to continue uploading it, but we've already got that on that channel because I uploaded it this morning. And um, yeah, it's continuing to upload that, but I stopped that. So that will might give me an error message and then I can delete it here by clicking on here and have the options of what I can do there. Actually, I can do that now here. It's selected and edit. And da -da. okay, there's nothing more actions. Delete forever. Okay. So I understand deleting forever. Yes, delete forever because that's the second copy. Podcast. I'm not doing podcast now. Right. So that's basically how you upload a video here. And once you've got a video that you're uploading, maybe I could have gone in and shown you, but I didn't really want to go through and upload the same video again. But when you've basically uploaded a video, then it's you must have a title and it tells you how many characters you can have in the title, up to 100 characters. It's good to have a searchable title if you want to share the information that you're using. The description, you can see you've got up to 5,000 characters, so you can put your whole program in there. You can write about the organization. You can write about the video. You can put the date. You can put any information you want. I would suggest you check your spelling and not enter it like you do your WhatsApp messages because I don't know what you've said in the last few messages that you've sent to me. So you need to be sure that your spelling is correct. Do a, um, a spelling check and edit and you can select a particular thumbnail when you've uploaded it if you want to see the particular person so this would be in this case i would select her so instead of seeing britta for that event i would show the actual speaker and then save the changes you can add playlists and i have for this particular situation selected the wfwp playlist uh, some of them I have specialized, so I occasionally edit the lists and the contents of the lists. So you can leave that up to me and tell me where you want to put it. Or if you think you see something that's right, select it. There's a number of playlists on Women's Federation. Select done. The audience is always, no, it's not made for kids. Otherwise, we can't enter our video into the playlist. And... We don't restrict the videos to viewers over 18 only. Show more gives you the options to select tags. And I recommend select relevant tags, WFWP, women, whatever the topic is, CSW, side event, uh, CND, drugs, crime, UN, UNODC, add whatever tags that are relevant. Then when people are looking for that, then the video will come up in the search in Google. The language is English. And there are other options that you can still select here. Since it's not from today, I would select, I would suggest that you go in here and select the correct date of the recording. So that would be the 17th in your case. And I usually change this from standard YouTube license to Creative Commons attribution so that it can be shared and embedded and used in other platforms.
So the pro the default is nonprofits and activism. There might be other areas, news and politics, science and technology, whatever. If there's something else, education, sometimes I select that. If you think that there's something that's more relevant, you can select the, the category. And I usually show how many viewers like this video so that I've got some idea of how we're going. So that's me for the uh, sharing of the, of the video. And what was the other thing you asked me? I think that was it, uh, how to make a recording. Oh yeah, okay, so I still wanted to show you how I go about making a recording. So usually I'll share the screen again and I'll go to screen one again, share. When I click down here to start, here I have video editor. When I click on my windows, the video editor opens the video editor, which is from Microsoft, which is part of the Microsoft program. Sometimes it takes a while to open. Sometimes I've had troubles with my graphic card. Right now it looks like it doesn't want to open. I don't know why. I'm going to close the YouTube channel and my other aspects, things that I had open. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I don't know why that doesn't open the, okay, welcome back. This is how it opens. When you've opened the video editor, now you want to start a new video project. So you click on new video project. Basically, you follow instructions when there are any there. It's a good idea to read what they tell you. New video project. Your video project is empty, though. So the first thing you do, so this is um, instruction video how. Okay, so I'm making this new video here, and I will then add the video here you go to project library you go to the video from this pc from my collection from the web wherever you have stored the video that you want to the recording that you have that you want to make a video you select wherever it is then you go to that video and you add it and when you've added it, then you have to pull it down into the storyboard. And when you click play here, you will see whatever it is. And you can add a title card. There's a lots of other things you can do. Like I said, you can take the whole year to learn this program. Okay. So let me just turn okay. the sound off here. here um, uh, okay. So... Um, the video is still running and you can stop at any time and split. So here with the split, you cut it at that spot where you are right now that you were looking at, click done. And if you want to start from this point, then you just click on that one and press delete. And then the video is will start where you are now. And then you can play it to wherever you want to have it and wh when you're ready to if you want to cut something out you can split again uh, I would split not trim I like to split and then select what I want to delete so then I split again click done and now you've got the beginning part the first part has been deleted this is what's left and this bit you can now also delete if that's how you want it so there again I just click the delete button and my video is now just an excerpt of three minutes, 41 seconds. And that's all I want. So the video is finished. So I'll click up here, finish video. You've always got lots of, uh, 
options, custom video, background music, but, you know, you want to do it quickly, you want to do it now, well, the best is to keep it simple. And the simplest is to ask Tony to do it for you. But you asked for it, you wanted to know how to make a video out of the recording. Well, that, if you mean you want to cut something out or add something, you can add the cards here, you cut it out like that. And then when you've done the editing that you want, you finish the video. Hi, recommended. I always follow the recommendations. The more exports, hardware accelerated encoding, no idea. Export means it will now create that new video. So I am exporting that video and creating a brand new video of that one that I just had, which is now a short video of the um, intern's talk. And then it takes a while for the video to render, that's what it's called, when the video is being made. Your machine has to be strong enough. My laptop wasn't strong enough when I was using a professional program, the Da Vinci, but this is the Microsoft program, so it should work fine on your laptop. So that is now the finished video. And it's three minutes and, oh, okay, now it's running. It was three minutes and 30 something seconds. And uh, that's the video, that's it. I close here. That is the project. I don't need that anymore. I can close that. And I will have it now in my, I showed it to you already. I had it in my folder in my um, videos. So that's how to make the video. So I hope that helps. That's universal. It's not just for this recording of the CND event. Yes. Anything else? Just ask.